Loki episode 4 is out this morning and with it comes to show first post credit scene that you're not going to want me to miss. Marvel has been sleeping days and shoots in Disney Plus show occasionally but Loki has not had a one so far so it might have been easy to miss this one if you shot to show to show of a son auto outro hit. It's after the animated outro, greedy with the TV background, and before the actual greedy, there is no a second one after those, and it's not just a fun note, it's kind of essential information for the unsure future of the series, so you're not going to want to miss it, and that's all I'll say about it before I give up. Spoiler working. For those of you who actually want to discuss the content of it, if you haven't watched the episode yet, turn back now and be sure to be check what to say. Those that have watched it, let's dive in. So, the Simi writer Derwin today episode of Loki apparently exquisite the own Wilson Mobius as it seemingly like it would be hard to carry on the series without him. Then it seemed like it would be really hard to keep coming without Loki himself who was also prone with a disintegration stick. Where is John P. out being prone doesn't necessarily mean you are erased from our existence forever. The post credits scene we saw was Loki walking up in some sort of apocalyptic looking cityscape and greeted be what are clearly for Loki variant shield. Loki black Loki with a hammer listed as a beautiful Loki and to create a Richard Grant Loki and you are your Catholic Loki. Richard E. Grant is great as classic Loki and is a story actor without about this zillion roles to his name. He was nominated for an Oscar in 2019 for his role in Can You Ever Forgive Me? Yet to see him be up, up here. So clearly, this is a place where a bunch of the other Loki variants have been pruned to over two years and presumably there's some way out of this place even in the other heavens. Figure it out, but you know, and if you look you walk up there, I would assume it be able to look at Mobius somewhere into there too, as again, it's hard to envision Loki continuing without the dynamic between them. I will probably save all the reviews at the end of the episode about the anime Mactronic Shock, which is timekeepers for another article. But suffice to say, I think we are creeping closer to many geek theory being correct about who is really behind this all, especially given Ravona and Simat involved as seemingly one of the people of the top of the food chain.